people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasé, what they do. Now, people, this is an update about a story that I did today. And I am going to say this. Do not rationalize the logics of a dunce, a wicked, or a bad mind. I am going to explain in details. I am speaking about the story that I spoke about the video before this one. And it involves a man that is from Old Arbor, his government name, Ian Robinson. I refer to him as Rasta or Dreddy in the video that I did earlier because I did not know his name and he had locks. Would not say that he is a Rasta, I would say Dreddy. However, based on the information from people that are in the know, it is said that his OC, a.k.a. is Zaza. Z-A-Z-A. Based on the information, it is said that he is out on condition of bail. And what was his charge? The takeaway of a human being. M-U-R-D-E-R. Now, people... I know that as a condition of bail, you are not supposed to be around any sorts of criminal-minded person like yourself. However, sometimes you cannot avoid being taken away by these same criminal elements that you and them used to spar before. Some people, like I said, he was out on condition of bail for a takeaway of a human being. There is conflicting story. The first story that I got, the person just told me that he was on condition of bail and they were supposed to go to trial this week, upcoming week. It is said that he was going to testify against some person, his co-defendants, for the takeaway of that person. Another individual also contacted me and told me that, yes, it's true. He is a taxi man, like the first person that I can verify or validate his information. He was a taxi driver. The other person also told me that there was a case in which they were driving, him and his co-defendants were driving in a car with a man that they just took, just took away. However, they were pulled over by the popo and the co-defendants run away. Run, leave him with the body in the car. People, I cannot validate or verify that information. However, what I can validate or verify is the fact that he was out on condition of bail for the takeaway of a human being. Also, what I can validate is that there was a trial that is supposed to start next week in a few days. However, people, he was the only one that is out on bail. Now, people... You know that I've always spoken about persons that are out on bail after they committed serious crimes or take away. However, this might have been an unusual circumstance. Like me say, he was a taxman. I guess whoever the DPP or the prosecution knew that he was the driver, he might have not committed the takeaway by himself. However, the fact that he was going to give or be state evidence against some other individuals, his co-defendant, that would be a reason for him to get bail because them are work with him. Like Mr. People, whenever you dance with the devil, you get F-U-C-K. Now, people, based on information, like I said, the trial was supposed to start within the next week or so. And people, you know the policy in Jamaica, in form of a D-E-A-D, Especially when that informer directly is going to inform against you, is going to turn state against you, people, you know that that is going to be problematic. Now, people, based on the information too, it is said that after this incident, he tried to make a 180 change in his life. He is or was living with his girl in a place called Avery, that is in Old Arbor also. He was still driving cab. He was still doing handiwork 
to make ends meet. Now people, like me say, sometimes it is too late. Sometimes you are actually married to the mob, married to the game. And people, like them say, whenever you are married, literally to the game or the gang, it is until D-E-A-T-H do you part. Now people, in this situation, this man basically, he was a cab driver. I guess he was trying to diversify his portfolio. He was trying to make ends meet. He was trying to supplement his income. So therefore, not only was he driving cab, he was dibbling and dabbling along with the gangsters. However, people, somebody threw some sort of monkey wrench at the program and he got caught. And the criminals, the real shatters, them take with themselves like they always do and them leave him to face the consequences. Now people, obviously, when he get caught, maybe he was not a full-fledged criminal like the others of them. So therefore, he got bail. He was out on condition of bail. So people, like I said, don't rationalize the logics of a dunce, a wicked or a bad man, or a gunman, or a gangster. And this is why. They start to pray this man because he got bail. He got bail because he was turning states. He got bail because he was not expecting that he was going to get caught. He was just making some money. He was just the driver. However, people, the driver in any sort of takeaway is just as responsible, just as liable as the person that actually squeezed the trigger. So people, the moral of the story in all of this is that there's a thing that is called justice. There's a thing that is called karma. And karma, she is not prejudiced against anybody. There is no time or limitation when she will show up. And people, obviously, we see say, karma showed up for this man. Because people, the way that they caught him, like I told you in my previous video, that is a video before this one. He was hogtied. He was taken from Old Arbor. He was taken to Ensom City, which is in Spanish Town. He was thrown out. He was dumped like he was at Riverton. They also placed two directly. One at the back of his head and one in his ears. So therefore, they want to make a statement. They want to send a clear and precise message that, listen, you are not going to court. You are not going to make it to court. There will be no sorts of witness. There will be no sorts of testimony. Now people like me say, this is credible information from people in the know. This is not on TVJ, CVM. This is not in the Observer, the Gleaner or the Star. So therefore, if you hear any of these pradial bloggers with it, and them tell you, say, somebody tell them, you know who their source of information for those who don't know already. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.